funny is I've never liked coconut water and I don't know in the last like six months I really really like the taste of it. I never liked coconut water. It's funny how like sometimes you hated the taste of something and then later in life you taste it again and you're like hmm this is really really good. Hello everyone welcome to a daily vlog. My name is Christina. My husband David and I we just got back from Ikea so I kind of want to do an Ikea haul and show you guys a couple of things that we purchased. We didn't get a ton of things. Um, we are trying to steer away from the furniture. I like have to tell myself like even if something looks so, like pretty beautiful and like my aesthetic to stay away from the Ikea furniture. I love Ikea. Our last apartment was filled with Ikea furniture. And so now that we have a house, I kind of want to invest in some nicer pieces. The biggest purchase we made is actually this area rug I am sitting on. I don't know if you can tell in this, like right now, but is the echo as bad as it was in my last vlog? Because in my last vlog, there was no rug in here. And I feel like my voice was just like, bouncing all over the walls and the floors now having the rug it makes such a huge difference i mean there's still a bit of an echo because my voice now feels like it's traveling up and like towards the walls but at least it, it feels a bit grounded i really really like this rug the reason why i don't love this carpet is because i already have the sofa that I want for my office picked out and I'm worried that the couch and the rug they're gonna clash I don't know if it's gonna match well so I'm a little concerned I was telling David when we were at Ikea I don't know if I want to get it but then he said he thinks we should just get it because we could put this in another room we can put it in one of the guest rooms we could put it in the bedroom we could put it in his office. So I don't think this carpet will go to waste. Yeah, I think this rug is perfect for my office for right now. The reason I bought this giant white container is because I plan on putting all of my art supplies in here. And when I say art supplies, I mean like my paints, watercolor, acrylic paint, oil paint, gouache, paint brushes, uh, yeah, anything that has to do with paint is going in this container here. I don't use that every single day and I don't necessarily want that to be displayed out in the open. I'm gonna put this container in the closet that's right across from my office. That means I'll have easy access to it whenever I do want to use it. Let me show you guys the next item. Now this is super random because David and I do not have children, but we do have a handful of nieces and nephews. This is in anticipation for when they come over. Ikea has some really cute, like these plates are adorable. They're plastic and it comes in this like beautiful color range of pastels. Like I am obsessed with these. Like I want to eat off this. Look at this green. But these are for the kids. So we got plates for them, a cute set of matching bowls, cups. <laughs> and then this net. Okay. So we also purchased the silverware but i just don't know how well these are gonna hold up because they are plastic i don't know i'm just thinking like kids they would just chew on it this was all inexpensive i believe they were each a dollar 99. it's so funny because david's like just teasing me because the aesthetic for the house is like neutrals whites and tans and it's just not kid friendly and he's like well what are you gonna do when like the nieces and nephews come over and i'm like well i'm gonna buy them like their own little table that they can eat on and then here i am buying them their own plates and bowls <laughs> it's just nothing against them like our just our house isn't kid friendly but these are so cute. I can't wait to just show my sister, Brittany, these plates that I got for them. 
The next thing we bought, we didn't necessarily need, but we've been wanting for a while because the Tupperwares we have are plastic and plastic Tupperwares just always over time get ruined. Like there's, like if you store spaghetti in a plastic container, like chances are it's gonna stain. Um, so yeah, they're like, they're like, you know, on the last leg of their life. <laughs> So we decided to purchase a couple of these glass Tupperwares. We bought two of these like large rectangular size and then we bought four of these small ones. Chances are we're probably going to use this more than this size here. I feel like this size is going to be perfect for when we cook dinner. We make extra food so that the next day we have lunch. So this is gonna be perfect for that. The lid and the glass container was sold separately. The lid was $5. And then this one here, the glass was $3.99. So in total, it's $8.99 per container. Um, I thought it was kind of weird that the lid was five bucks and this was $3.99. But I mean, I guess it's because it's I mean, I guess it's the bamboo material, maybe? I love that this is also really easy to clean and nice and easy for you to see your leftovers. Because I feel like if you don't see it clearly, you forget about it. And then you're like cleaning your fridge by the end of the week. And I like get upset with myself when I find leftovers. And I'm like, oh, why didn't I eat this? Let me also mention that the lid for this one, I believe was a dollar. And then the container was $1.99. That's so weird. That's so weird. I would have, I mean, considering the large rectangular one, I would have thought this was $1.99 and this was a dollar. I don't know, maybe I'm like reading that. No, I'm not, I'm not reading it wrong. It says Ikea 365 lid, four and $4. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm <laughs> so I'm looking at the receipt wrong. <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay. The lid is $4. The container is $1.99. So this is $5.99 for this entire thing. These are going to look so cute in the fridge. I love that they're so easy to clean. You can also throw these, um, probably not the bamboo lid, but the actual glass containers you can put in the oven, the dishwasher, and the microwave. And that's a plus for me. Next thing we purchased are some hot pads bought this because our countertops is quartz and that <laughs> come to find out there's a lot of maintenance um, you cannot put anything hot on the counter so i wanted to get a pack of these because for one i, I love like this cork material i think it's going to go well with the kitchen but i also don't want to damage my countertops oh yeah 3.99 for these I am loving the lines on this vase. Like this vase makes me wanna go to like a flower shop or Trader Joe's and buy some flowers. Um, and this was really inexpensive too. I believe this was $1.49. If you've been going to Ikea and you've been sleeping on this, you need to go to the store and buy this because this is like absolutely gorgeous. I love <laughs> So yeah, that is it for my Ikea haul. Like I said, we didn't go crazy and buy a ton of things. So tonight I'm just gonna organize my office. I really wanna tidy up this room. I don't know if I'll get done with it tonight, but I at least want to make some sort of difference in here because it's been looking like this for the last couple of days and it's giving me a headache.